All right. So here's an interactive example of how to use coordinate geometry to identify a quadrilateral. The problem is phrased as, what is the most precise name for quadrilateral fish? We are given the coordinates of fish's vertex vertices, and I've written down all of our possible options. Quadrilateral, parallelogram, rectangle, rhombus, square, isosceles, trapezoid, or kite. So let's get started. The first thing we should do is use the distance formula on each of the sides. By using the distance formula on each side, we'll be able to see how many of the sides are equal to each other, if any. Let's start with fi. I'll take the x's for f and i, find the difference between them and square it, and I'll take the y's from f and i, find the difference between them, and square them. Let's see here. So that'll be 1 squared plus 3 squared. So that's 1 plus 9, which is the square root of 10. Now, we could turn that into a decimal, but we don't need to, because we're only trying to find these lengths so that we can compare them with each other. So We'll repeat this process with the other three sides, and we'll look to see if any of them are also equal to the square root of 10. Why don't you take a moment to find IS and SH? Let's see if we got the same answers. Let's see here. So I'll have a negative 1 minus 2 and a 4 minus a 5. So, oh, once again, we've got 3 squared. Well, negative 3 and negative 1. But when, since we're squaring them, it doesn't make that much difference. That's also the square root of 10. Neat. Let's see what else we've got. This time we've got 2 minus 3 squared, and we've got uh, 5 minus 2 squared. Well, doing some mixing and matching here, but it looks like three of those sides are equal to the square root of 10. How about that last one? Well, could it even be that it doesn't match up if the other three do? Let's see here. Yep. Well, this case is not going to answer that question since we get the same thing again. Well, that means that all four sides are equal. So since all the sides are congruent, what are our options? I hope you said rhombus or square. So, can't just be a quadrilateral because we've got different properties. It is a parallelogram, certainly, because a rhombus or a square have to be parallelograms, but that's not the most precise name. So it could be a rhombus or a square, and it's definitely not a trapezoid or a kite. We need to check is it a rectangle as well? If it is a rectangle, 
then, in addition to being a rhombus, then it will be a square. If it's not a rectangle, then it's just a rhombus. How do we check that? We check using the slope formula. For the slope formula, we'll take the y coordinates and put them on top, and the x coordinates and put them on the bottom. So it looks like this is going to be negative 3 over 1. Let's find is. Let's see if we get the same thing. So it looks like we'll have 4 minus 5 over negative 1 minus 2. Well, that's negative 1 over negative 3, but a double negative becomes positive. Look! Since these are negative reciprocals, that means fi is perpendicular to IS. And if a parallelogram has one 90 degree angle, then that means that it has four. So it's also a rectangle. Therefore, the most Precise name for fish is square. Hope that was helpful.